And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Everybody, I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I, I don't, don't know, know where I'm going. going. Black Lou, I thought you were going to be uh, all over that. You know what? He sold us out where we were like in the car on the way to school. We're like, dude, that's pretty cool, right? We Let's sing do that it class. for everybody. And he goes, yeah, man, that'll be... Uh, That'll be great. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, you guys start. I'll uh, come in for the yeah. harmonies. And then we turn around. We're like, Lou's not here. <laughs> Black, Black Lou, Lou everybody. Um, it's the Bonfire. I'm Big J Okerson. That's Dan Soder. This Hi. is Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. And I think out of the gates, Dan, even you, who does not want to kick up dirt, I get that, uh, this studio. Come on, man. Yeah, come there's, on. there's lines of blow right by my microphone. Come on, there's blow on the table. <laughs> Clearly, Fugel Sang is now is now getting his guests by luring them in here with. There's Christine. I need you to come around and take pictures of all this of this I, crime scene. I wiped the sugar off. Did you? I'm, I had to move the mouse. Oh, did you wipe it off, Dan? Is that what happened? Uh, Why is your finger in your mouth so much? What are you doing? Do you want to start a business? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, what, what, I can't believe you got rid of it. I had to move the mouse. Can you replant it so we can show? And there's no more sugar packets. Oh, buddy! <gasps> no, before you move them. Take a picture of the sugar packets that are also here. You know what, though? I think we lose all this in the court of law. Why? Because it's obvious that it's been tampered. Well, it's tampered ever since. Well, there, just everyone, you should know there was. Uh, a fucking tissues pack, which means somebody's over here who needed a tissue pack, so there's snot and sneezing. You're saying the room's been compromised. It could be by my microphone, for all we know. They could just be sucking on your mic. Uh, I could, no one's doing anything here to, to... Look at this. Look, Christine, over here. Look at this dirty napkin over here. A crumbled up dirty napkin. Jay's a cleanliness detective. Oh, I do not like this at all. And I'll tell you this. No one else is bothered by this in the room. Why do I well, think it's John always Fugel only saying me? couldn't be more polite to Jacob and I. I mean. To you? What a great What did he do to you? He shook my hand. He told me. Did he shake your hand? He said he feels like I'm developing as an actor, a comedian, and as a person. He really critiqued your acting and gave you a positive review. He sat down and he said, do you, is there anything you want to talk about? I said, yeah, I just like a little bit of stuff. He goes, you know what? Anytime you need to get some steam off, come see the fugues. Man, and I'm, I go, getting, what a, I'm getting a different guy. I go, what about Jay? I go, what about Big Jay? And he goes, I think it's time you lose some weight. Then Who? he winked. He goes, little bleep bleep. Yeah, he goes. What, he goes, does Piggy Boy have a problem with what I'm doing in the studio? <laughs> you mean, bleep, bleep, you I mean thought pigs like to live in a sty. He goes, you want me to come down there and slice a piece of bacon off the side? I go, you leave him alone. That is my friend. <laughs> that will make chops out of that little piggy. Bleep, bleep, bleep. And then he goes, he goes, listen, dude, we'll talk about our sushi. So I think we're going to Tao tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you guys going to Tao for sushi? Yeah, I think so. Did you ask him if I can come? No, I no. wanted alone time. What, what if I told is you? Is that why he gave me all this busy work here and cleaning the studio yeah. space? He goes, "Oh, your maid will be busy." I'm just kidding. Oh. Bro. He goes, "Welcome to the big time, bro." I go, "What's the big time, John?" He goes, "You'll see." Do so you know there's a 38th level of serious? At the, <laughs> at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, you can see. Come on, man. I, I mean, come on. Is this a real crime, Jay? Is this a crime as bad as? Hiring a man to murder your husband? <laughs> uh, that was a great segue. But Crime just, stoppers on the bonfire. Just show me that you half care about this. I mean, okay. I care. Dude, scuzzy, oh, not me. Oh, God damn it. A scuzzy napkin. Yeah. I mean, who knows what's in that napkin? Also, he wrote on the wall, go home Jew, like school ties. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fugle sank. <laughs> Cowards! <laughs> Yeah, he really took it there. He Matt Damon do from school times. Oh, son of a bitch. And he knows he's the one who cheated, not yeah. me. Yeah, Brendan Fraser. How I'm just a good feel? kid trying to pork the head of the swim team. Yeah, you're just a, a decent Jewish football player. Just a guy who keeps my rugged good looks, even though I play in leather helmet football. Yeah, you're a solid Hebe H-back. Come on! <laughs> you are the H-back. No, I'm an option back. It's a, He's definitely a quarterback, but he'd take off of the ball. He can run. Oh, yeah, no, he can run for sure. Well, let me just tell you this. He can run. <laughs> play a player. A sassy sip of my iced coffee. Can I'm I gonna, say something else? I'm going to now remove this fucking shit. Come on, man. This bothers me for real. Uh, you know what I just... No one else cares at all. He's your best friend now, Jacob, because he mean, was nice to you. I get it. Don't be such a bully victim who's like... I don't the know that it's him. Huh? It could have been the show before. Like, you don't want to... I don't want to clean and up then John somebody else. Yeah. Could, morning guy, mashup. Guy, could be morning mashup. No, it can't. Yeah. A guy who's How, fucking... Why not? Because no one's going to sit in that garbage. Come on, yeah. I don't pick... 
Look, you I'm think a saying, guy who tucks his button down shirts into his jeans is going to fucking leave this around? Yeah. No, this is his mess. He assumes somebody else. Button down shirt tucked in the jeans attitude is always the guy who's going to leave the ship. Can on. I tell you right now? That's a dangerous attitude. That's either a dad at a barbecue or a man who's doing destruction on purpose. Now, nah, fuck that. You know why? Because he even said something to us one time. When he goes, remember when he wrote us his fucking sad sacky, hey guys, I mean, I thought we were friends. When he wrote us all that shit, mm-hmm. he goes, uh, remember when he was walking, he goes, he goes, hey guys, when, when it got back to him the first time, he goes, oh, hey guys, sorry, he goes, we'll do our better job to like, you know, clean up our mess. And, but he said something, he acknowledged that. Mm-hmm. Come on now. I, Come on now. I just think And that, am I crazy that we don't do this? I make I, sure I throw my shit out after I every think show. your sexual tension with him is palpable. Mm. I think you're like this. You're like, isn't he just stupid the way he combs his perfect hair? You guys are and all afraid always... ended up on page six TV. Not this guy. I don't care. I'm an open book. Bro, do you understand that Page Six TV could sink Jacob's career? I just fucking threw my goddamn e-cig away. <laughs> Look, he's in your head. Why are you letting him in your head? Why are you letting him in your head, Jay? I just want to say, hi, I'm Dan Soder. And when Jay's away from the microphone, I just want to say we're about peace and love here. No, we're not. And Jay's, you know, he's just going through a lot because he has sexual tension with John Fugel. I'm going through no- How's my goddamn wires? <laughs> I love that. Look, he's got you in a tizzy. Right, right, my whole <laughs> Dude, you're going gaga for fuel sack. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think you love him. Oh. I think you just can't get him off your brain. <laughs> when you fuse. look at Lou, does it just I got pop fuse in? fuse on the brain. Yeah, you got a fugue brain. Hey, you love him. I You love him so much that you get all tizzied up. I don't know. Am I right? No one seems to be supporting me in this at all. Jacob's Jacob is a butt buddy you. now. <laughs> Jack Lou is having a hard time choosing allegiance right now. Both of our teams are, are kicking ass on fire. I fully support you, Jay. Thanks, Lou. Can so, I study this? What? I just, want, <laughs> I just hope you and John end up happy. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I just think that you guys really are. This is not how you treat a friend, Dan Soder. You're gonna do that. You guys are gonna do that kiss in the hallway where, where Jay's gonna be like, "Hey, why don't you stop leaving your trash?" He's like, "Hey, I don't leave my trash." He's oh, like, it's Mister and Mrs. Smith. It where we yeah, it's like we a go. full bones karate fight. We go. Why don't you just do that? Because why don't you do that? <laughs> I turn the corner. I go, no! My dude, my dude. Son of a bitch. Punch on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, he was starting gay sex. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, oh, what? Uh, it, oh, what? Oh, fuck yeah. You. Fuck you. I fucking love it. Oh, Don't what? you. Clean huh? it fucking. I'll show you some collusion. collusion. You want a collusion? Huh? So I'll give you a collusion. Clean. Oh, uh, tight yeah. fit. Clean. Yeah. Up. I turn, the, I turn the corner. Mess. No! Dan, no, we're working shit out. Oh, God. Thank you, Christine. The Dunkin' Donuts napkin is mine. You've put false evidence up on Twitter. <laughs> All right, get rid of the Dunkin' yeah, Donuts. You have lied. It doesn't matter. You have lied. It doesn't Dunkin matter. Donuts. No, you know what? The Dunkin' Donuts thing represents Dan cleaning up a mess that was currently oh, there. Guys, come on. He didn't mean it. He's a good guy. <laughs> All right, let's get to the thing that I want to talk about that's going to hopefully be... I want to I, no, before we get to. The, I want to make sure in the halls that I am not alone against John Fugelsang. I have my whole crew. I, I'm like, what are you gonna do? You gonna fucking beat us all, up, John Fugelsang? And I look behind me. You guys aren't there. Fuck that shit. Is it gonna be me and Lou standing there? You turn around. We're, it's like ask Lewis to back you up. He's around the corner waiting for them to leave every day. Oh, Jacob was so much proud. Black of Lou. He, Jacob was so proud of himself that he dealt with it face to face today. I always do. <laughs> Yeah, and then and Black Lou is around I the corner. I do it face-to-face every day I can. Black Lou, let me tell you something. I'll be around the corner with you, buddy. <laughs> Black Lou, you don't want no gripe, huh? I mean, he hasn't done anything personally to me, but I will say that it's your area that seems to be messy the most. No shit. Like, it's directed towards Can I say something? Can we go in the Deb and Ben studio a little early maybe tomorrow, see who sits there? And muss it up? Oh, my God. I don't oh, know. you mean go in there and look through the porthole? Yeah. See who's where. See get, who the piece of shit see who, is. See who the players are. I have a feeling Fugel saying sits where you sit. I think right. it, it matters to him that he's in the captain's chair. Is this the captain's chair? <laughs> I just think this is the well, it's the it. head of the. No, but I mean, well, I mean, you and Lou, I guess, are the people you'd say. I just like, like to the, stare at Lou. Yeah. I, I, I picked this side. Mm. Uh, there was no argument ever we had over seating there. I like this because of the arm where I can put my arm at. I want to be close to you. Looking I don't want to be across where Jacob is. My gangsta lean. You know I like to do radio on a gangsta lean. Can I just tell you this? You absolutely do it a gangsta lean. Don't try to kiss my ass now. No, I just turned on so me. cool. Where were you? So where were you when I needed you? Yeah, you guys know about three. Some of trying to just hook one up. And then there. And, the fugues. <laughs> and then there, what Fugel saying. I just found myself with only one foot set of footprints in the sand. And he goes, no, that was me carrying you. Oh, man. this uh, You don't care at all, huh? 
No, I think it is. I think that sucks that he leaves it dirty. I think that's fucking shit. You have to acknowledge that he wouldn't Because do Jacob that does anymore. a good job of cleaning up our studio after we leave. So it's like, just have your producer clean up. Jacob does it, and I also don't just leave shit. I myself. Double, I lay in my own Double phone. check. Both, all of us. But I'm, I'm not speaking out of, out of turn with that. Am I correct? Like, I'm saying, like, yeah. I, I throw my shit out. Of course. Uh, Every time. Yeah. And I feel like that certain respect should be given back to us. And it's not. What is that you're holding, Dan? It's something I talked about on Monday show. Oh. What's up, motherfucker? Mother. Brain melt. Fucker. Uh, sometimes I go to Jay's house and we watch episodes of Cops. That's like one of my favorite things in the world to do is before the show we'll go and get a little, maybe, hi, maybe. without saying, but maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. And then we always bring up uh, fun episodes of Cops. Where uh, we usually pick them, which is my favorite thing to do, Arizona, because they when cops on the DVR, at least on Direct TV, yeah, or Dish Network, uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, when I uh, DVR them, it lists them by state, like city and state. So it says like you know Phoenix, Albuquerque, New Mexico, yeah, Phoenix, Arizona, 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 Tucson, Tampa. Arizona. So we get a Tucson. Obviously, I geek geek. geek Geeked up for living there for five years. You okay. Like, <laughs> Did you have a stroke? <laughs> I, get, I get, I get, I get, I get, I go. I was going to make a Stranger Things 2 season. I got, I got, I got, I got. I was going to reference season two of Stranger Things, but I don't want to blow it for anybody. It's going to go rainbow. Spoiler alert. They're all aliens. Left, four to the right. I finished it. They're all aliens. All oh, four boys. what, dude? Dude, all no. Four, all four boys aliens. Yeah, really? Well, guess what? Twin Peaks is actually Three Peaks. There's oh my. a whole different city. There. No! Spoiler alert. Rambo was trans. Oh! <laughs> what if I told you Jaws was a dolphin? Damn, Hashtag. Damn, damn. Well, time to let the listeners have fun. Hashtag uh, fake spoiler alerts. Yeah, hashtag fake spoiler alerts. Bruce Willis uh, was well, alive. <laughs> Bruce Willis was actually re-alive at he, the end. He had been, yeah. They brought him back as a Haitian zombie. Yeah, stay after the credits, you fucking you in a rush assholes. Mm. Stay after the credits when you see that Bruce Willis was actually alive. Old. Yeah, you missed the Easter egg. But when we went over, I went over to Jay's house recently to watch Cops. And Jay got excited. He was like, dude, did you ever see the one where the girl hires the killer to kill her husband? And it was on cops. Because like, it was so much, that's big, a, it's yeah. so much bigger than cops. Well, cops is usually domestic violence, drugs, or them picking up a drunk guy or a fight. Usually the four, that's what the four it is, right? Yeah. It's usually fucking domestic violence is always the number one. Breaking that's the and funniest. Entry, that's, yeah. That actually, one, I'd say, honestly, chases lead to the I'd funniest. Say, I'd say possession is probably actually oh, the most thing on yeah, cops. Yeah, because they try okay, to lie, and then yeah. they get out of it. But yeah. you're right. Domestic abuse and possession are the funniest. Chase, actually, I put chases as the funniest, because they always kind of curse when they're running. We're like, that was good. Chase yeah. is funny because, well, what happens at the end of Chase, though, is like, again, cops does not hold back. What I love about the Chase ones is when they get the guy, they are not bashful about showing them uh, fuck his shit up yeah. like a little bit. They really when they catch him, they don't need to at all. I mean, they're giving real arm bends and knee knees to the face. I see punches kinda, thrown, and it's all just kind of like, well, he was running. They kind of know it's their showcase. They know they're like, this is going to be my time to get on camera. Watch this. Oh yeah, this is like, hey, I hear there's a scout for the Tonight Show in the yeah. audience. Like, oh, is there? I'm gonna do my killer stuff. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm I got prep. I got to do my closer. What's your closer? A knee to a back. And uh, <laughs> don't move your fucking arms. A flying elbow off a gate. Yeah, I just really like to take him out. But uh, when you brought this one up, I was like, this is a fucking deep. A woman hires a man to kill her husband, yeah. then acts as if she knows nothing about it when the cops set up a fake sting that he's dead inside. Mm -hmm. And this is all on cops. What they have on cops. is what they show on cops. Yeah. I'll take you through the trajectory of it. Take me through the whole. What we're, gonna, what we're going to play here is not cops. No, we got the twenty. For, we got the twenty twenty. A piece that was done about it, which is from her side. Yes, which is, is a, that's why we're watching because this. all cops will show you. Is and we and we didn't watch this yet, by the way. Yeah. So we're I'm in I'm in the dark, but this is going to be like her explanation as to why this is ridiculous. Yeah. Why um, she's the, why she is the victim. What it shows is a lot of edited down uh, sting operation of her talking in a car to a guy, which though I'm sure they'll play clips of here. I'm just yeah. going to show the whole thing. Uh, planning on having this guy, her husband, murdered. Um, he gives her several outs in the video that you see on Cops. Gives her several, several he goes, outs. You know this is going to get serious. And she goes, I'm, I'm a little girl, but I don't care. I'll get serious. Yeah, you know I am little, but it doesn't matter. Like you know, People think I can't handle stuff like this. But then she goes... 
uh, and sets it up that she's going to leave in the morning to go to the gym. She says this. She goes, I'll leave in the morning, go to the gym. He'll be sleeping still. I'll leave like five in the morning. And then you go do what you got to do when we come. So it's cops who know about this. She goes to the gym in the morning. The cops go in immediately and get the guy. What I'm sure they won't have. Maybe they will. This guy, they wake this lunkhead. Real meathead. Kind of muscly, like Florida, like. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Florida Italian clearly roots like tri-state area, but lives in Definitely Florida. Definitely roots the tri-state area. He's got that thing where he's like, yeah, no, Bayonne, New Jersey is what I call home, but I've been living in uh, Clearwater for about yeah, 15 yeah, yeah. years. Gainesville is where I call yeah. my house. Yeah, that's where I live. That's where my girl is. She got some big old fake titties. So she, um. So they get the guy, they kind of tell him this happening. He's like, what? Come on now. He goes, no, I'm, I'm not my baby girl. My baby girl loves me. She would never do that. Why would she kill me? With another dude? <laughs> um, so mine's starting to go to my Harvey. Uh, yeah, it's just, come on, take a shot. Come on, baby. Wait, and my wait. wife. Take a shot. Don't get me murdered. Come here. Your grandma loves you. you. You're going to get it? Yeah, it's also your grandmother. <laughs> I told you. I do four voices, and they cover each one covers 12 people. Goddamn right. So what? There's only like, you can play four chords on a guitar. You're pretty goddamn good. Okay. Goddamn right, ZZ Top made a whole fucking career out of it. Um, <laughs> oh. oh, when I'm going to bed, I always make my pudding. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of flavors now. <laughs> We're a little rusty. No, I got it. Go ahead. Now. <laughs> now. If you want to kill your husband, just make sure you leave for the gym. At 5 a.m., we're going to be there. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
<laughs> uh, time to till the field. <laughs> yeah, we go. <laughs> Do that again. Wait, like, Luke, Luke, you, Luke, you play first. Uh, what's that thing called? Morning, whatever. Yeah. It's called morning, I think. Yeah, we go. We go. <laughs> Looks like she's married to Mike Vecchione. Yo, he's got Vecchione head. We'll get oh, to yeah, it. Oh, totally. You know that. Oh, my God. That looks like Mark Vecchione. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, How's that his brother? A little taller, a lot less funny. <laughs> Time to wake up. Stretch and get out there and make some bacon. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, that means the chickens have let some hands out. That means some of the eggs have God. been gone. This is going to be so fun. I'm so glad we have a whole episode for a this. A whole episode to dedicate to this because as, as Christine just going through pictures and clips we're about to look at, I mean, these two dumb dumbs. The guy couldn't be better. Yeah. He I'm really, so, let me just say, I'm so happy he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for marrying a complete dipshit that would hire a cop to have you murdered. Just looking at this guy, there's a shot by the end of this. We're going to be like, I get it. You got to have this guy killed. <laughs> we're we're going to pay for it. We're going to start a Kickstarter to get him snubbed. <laughs> Go fund me. For $1,000, you can be the producer of our murder. Yeah. Oh, fucking 96 degrees up here. <laughs> like, like a fucking, he looks like a Lachey with a chromosome missing. Dude, he is so he goes, perfect. He goes, you, you like when I touch you, right? Oh, man. That's great. Oh, I just saw that little fact to it, toy that we f we're not remembering to give here. Dude. Okay, you're giving away information. Go back to the 2020, because we're finding out stuff. That's, yes, that's epilogue shit. But, but wait. Where we're at, I should explain. One thing I do know. That was not on cops, but I do know this, so I don't want to, I don't want to feign like we're saying this out of the blue, you know, that we didn't know this. What we did find out from the, very few moments we watched of this 2020 piece is that he was married. He was he married met. when they met, and how they met is she was an escort that he called behind his wife's back, and then married her. He and then broke up with the wife and married a prostitute that he called and paid so once. So, so first they fucked, he paid her. We're already right in the middle. We're already right in the middle of. Is this guy murderable, <laughs> murderable, or is his wife uh, a monster? But that's her reaction. You play it one more time, Lou, just the full clip. Or... <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's her finding out. Here's the clip. Had a report of a disturbance at your house. Okay. And there were shots fired. Is your husband, Michael? Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, man. He's been killed. No, 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 no. He's, been, he's been killed. He goes, oh, you are, oh, you are full of bullshit, aren't you? <laughs> the cop. We were going to go tanning today. We do do dual tanning. <laughs> we shave our bodies together. All right. We were <laughs> no. <laughs> Try to calm down. No. Listen, no. Right now, what no. we, do, we need to get you. He's shaking. No. We need to get you to our police station. I, want to see him. We, I can't let you see him. Man. We have to you know what? Out. You tricky ass bitch. I know why you want to see him. You want to make sure he's dead. Yeah. That tricky ass bitch just wants to make sure he's dead. That's why she's like, can I see? Can I borrow one of your service revolvers? <laughs> Can I have the room to myself for a minute, please? Then she goes there and just puts her finger in the bullet hole and looks it. Uh, she goes, yeah. She goes, yeah, I think he has a history of zombies in his family. Can I use your gun? <laughs> That'll stop him from coming back. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. <laughs> ba -ba 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 uh, let's watch the rest of the video of her talking to the cop or the cop. Yeah. You know what? The cop's a good actor, too, because he's like, this bitch is fucking nuts. Ma'am, I'm very, actually, he's not a very good actor, because if you watch this continued on, like, he starts smiling. He's not really giving her he much. Goes, I think he'd be a lot better with someone grieving for mm -hmm. real, because this he goes, he goes, yeah, hey, listen, you gotta stop crying, we gotta go figure stuff out. You go sit down. Just sit down. No, you don't even get a blanket. <laughs> we need you to calm down. I'm gonna need you to go with these detectives, okay? Does he have enemies? Is there anyone that would want to hurt him? Okay, who would want to hurt him? Witnesses said they saw the Russians. Black male running definitely the Russians. A black man, a black man in our neighborhood. I don't know if they. Are would you be, just saying stuff? Yeah, I don't know if they would be that like. You know, what I mean, like with her, like it's like it's a like, calm down. I know you heard three seconds ago, but who do you think's his enemies? Yeah, can you give me Listen, a list of his enemies? You're gonna go with these officers. Get out of my face and tell me some of his enemies. Oh, who would want him dead? I know you just got life-altering like news. Who doesn't like him? He goes, oh, hey, uh, who in his life do you think? Uh, 
would want him murdered. <laughs> hey, uh, was it, you got any ex girlfriends that might have uh, huh, wanted him dead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you know anybody in his life that would uh, <laughs> pay for this kind of thing? <laughs> he goes, no, the uh, the body's definitely in there. <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty gruesome. I don't. Uh, I wouldn't want you to see him. He goes, Derek, stop your bad. Goes, I'm sorry. I, I, I want to see him. I want to see him. It's a uh, pretty grisly scene up there. Yeah, I didn't know your husband was such a bleeder. One shot. One gunshot. Looks like seven. <laughs> She's going. I don't. I don't feel right about this. She's like, why are you guys laughing off the side? He goes, oh, no reason. Uh, we're just all broken up about this. It's hard to see a dead body this early in the morning. <laughs> goes, I hope you guys had lunch. <laughs> yeah, no, he evacuated your bowels all over your bed. Your side. Uh, it really is one of those things where he's, like, they're going through it so fast where he goes, your husband's dead. I know you're upset. Sit over there. Here's paperwork. boop ba 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 bing bang boom Yeah. She just react. She just reacts that way to everything small. They're like, oh, you know what? There wasn't a sale at Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, please. I need. I need bulk paper towels. Oh, did, Adalia, they're out of shopping carts in the front. No, 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 no. <laughs> God, you're not, so dramatic. Dahlia, you can't melt at everything that happens, baby girl. You're gonna have to go to get some cognitive therapy. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are coming unglued at every corner. Yeah. What is that? He goes and um. He goes, can I get that on a, on a white Italian roll? He goes, you only have wheat? They only have wheat. Oh, come on. Oh, well, what's the big fucking deal? You eat uh, one time? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Dahlia, I just got a text. Our flight is delayed 30 minutes. Okay. It's a snowstorm. I mean, you're going to have to give them some credit. This- <laughs> it's like still taking Oh, babe. I don't mean to make it a thing, but I think you're wearing my bikini underwear. Oh, come on. Look, then wear them. I don't care. Wear them. Oh, my God. I just noticed. You know why we woke up late? You had the alarm uh, set 10 minutes later than we were supposed to. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, we all make mistakes. Like this. <laughs> oh, you know what? The mechanic said we should have got an oil change last month. Okay. It's just basic service. No, no, no. Babe, no Coke Zero, only only Diet Coke. Oh, come the fuck on now. I'm sorry. Just we'll just give me. us a minute. We'll pull off. We'll circle back around. <laughs> so hard to drive through with this chick. <laughs> okay, can we, I'm hungry. Can we drive through Burger oh. King? It's like, no, we're going in. I oh. can't do it. You, you melted the drive through. Oh, yeah. I just realized I forgot to DVR 60 Minutes. <laughs> okay, it's all right. I mean, I'm sure it's... We really? Can find it. Re- oh, really? I didn't know that. He goes, babe, crazy story. The McRib is discontinued. <laughs> oh, oh! It'll be oh, back. It's a oh. year. It's a seasonal product. Oh, my God. Yeah, we could do that for fucking hours. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, I cannot do this right now. I can't do this right now. I can, listen, lady, I cannot do this right now. I got to check my Powerball numbers. <laughs> you know. Are you just going to be blubbering all day? Because I got shit I got to do, too. You know, this oh. isn't the only crime in Florida today, you fucking selfish rag. You, you, that you is. stupid bitch. You're lucky we're doing this before 9 a.m. or else I wouldn't even be out here right now. <laughs> Stop your blubbering, you fucking hole. He goes, Answer my question. Who's his enemies, you pick you? Give me the names. <laughs> Give them to me, you fucking tiny water balloon. <laughs> Talk to me, you plastic fucking human dildo. Goes, also, I wanted to let you know, we forgot the army blanket back at the precinct. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, okay. You reacted more to that than you did your husband being dead. <laughs> Something's up here. Uh, all right. Let's, uh... Your husband's dead. Uh, also... They stole a couple of your tchotchkes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bad news, baby. Uh, your soul, your soulmate's dead. And also, I found out there's not going to be a season four of Fargo. Jacob looks over at me and goes, really? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Work on that fucking show. But Jacob make the same noise. <laughs> so Jacob reach out. Jacob, I'm sorry you can't watch NASCAR this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Separated at birth? Question mark. Oh, or love of his life? How do you feel about uh, escorts? 
Very cute. She is very cute. All right, let's I watch. Do it, so I wouldn't. Let's watch the last video. Could be where the girl's gonna murder you. No. <laughs> no. Real bold statement, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, where do you make a stance? <laughs> where to really, where to really stand up for yourself? Or so I've always liked about you. You have your convictions and you stand by them. Yeah. I mean, not with Fugel saying, but I guess with this. Situation. Yeah. Well, yeah. Detective Yolke, I need you. I need you to take her to the station. I can't. Man, go with these detectives. If you want to help your Way husband, too okay? if you want to help your husband, you need to go to the station with these gentlemen. I'm telling you where to go, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> go this way, idiot. He goes. I mean, you have a body on you. I mean, touching you, you are toned. <laughs> By the way, they never stopped touching her the yeah. whole time, too. It was right here, yeah, that direction. He goes, huh? that direction. He goes, did you do back today? Because you feel in tone. Let's get you out of these really tight, dicky pants. Eh? You want me to leave the belt on? Wait, what? Are we not doing this? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I feel awkward. I get that reaction a lot. It's okay. I get it. Tell us everything you know about who he knows, my who he's connected to. Don't worry. We've already taken care of dogs with animal control Please. for right now. Yeah, we, no, don't worry. Uh, the dogs caught a couple bullets, too. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's just say it was, uh, you know, we took care of some other people. It'd be funny if they had to kill the dog to prove to her that there was violence yeah. happened in there. Go, goes, we, need, we need blood. Yeah, he goes, here's your... Oh, my God. Goes, <laughs> like goes, the dog's actually dead. He goes, take the dog out back. Shoot it. Take one of the couch pillows. Smear it around a little bit. Bring it out here. <laughs> yeah, that's your husband's blood. <laughs> also, we had to ruin a couch cushion. Oh, Jesus. It's a couch cushion. How much do you care about your couch? And we'll take care of everything else, okay? Thank you, guys. I mean, there hasn't been a perfect time for a laugh like that. Then when he goes, no, just get in the car. We'll take care of everything else. Now, here's the, here's what's going to come up. There's a major cliffhanger. What happens? How they uh, drop the bomb on her. That, in fact, right. he is not dead. And, and that is simply, uh, we can't do this. It's, it's, it's 30 minutes of talking to her while she lies. And only to, as she, at one point, they go, okay, cool, we're going to go get you some water. And then her very alive husband just walks through the door. He goes, so, and he stops at the door and he goes, did someone want some water? And I, I can, oh, there I, Dahlia. But when they do bring him in, she has this mouth. They're like, oh, thank God, you're still alive. <laughs> oh, what a, that's a lot of balls. But she does have like the like, what? <laughs> uh, it's it's really hilarious, and we'll talk about it more when we come back from our first break, everybody. It's the bonfire. You're damn right it is. <laughs> and now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Murder. Hey. We're back. What a fun break. So much has happened. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is a 49er. And you breezed right over it. Yeah, yeah. I had some news also. Yeah, but you could have like gone like, ah, it's so cool. How do you feel about it? But That's like, next year's problem. No, it's not. He might not be our quarterback next year. He's under strict. Is that what made a bad move? That I didn't no. Look, I didn't it's because I felt like the black fucking... who brought you out of a bad mood with a, a Jimmy G chant. Yeah, I just felt like the the shitty parent. Because I came in here and had to say something that we both agreed about the show. And then but Jake, I, I, agree but, I know, but you came in late, and then Jacob and I were the one having the heated conversation where then I just look like the unfun guy that's like, I don't want to do this shit. And it was like our decision, so I just, I just put me in a fucking shit mood. Well, it's fine. But Jimmy G puts me in a good mood. He's handsome. Mm-hmm. He probably won't do what we want him to, which is win right. the Super Bowl. We'll just win. <laughs> oh, then I got to watch some handsome guy just take our money. You know it's pretty badass looking, Jay Ajaye. Ajaye. I mean, you better learn that if you're gonna mow over my news, you better know this. I know Jimmy Garoppolo's name. <laughs> Galapagos. <laughs> yeah, I kept calling him Galapagos Islands last night. <laughs> what is? I got actually? more. I said? got more texts about Jimmy G. I mean, obviously we talked about this on the live show mm-hmm. Tuesday, probably. But I got a lot of texts about this. Really? All right, yeah, let's not bring this up because we we talked about this on Tuesday. Um. Um, oh, murder so, Inc. Yes. Because we're doing the greatest reaction of a fake murder of all time. <laughs> if anything can cheer me up, it's that this dumb dumb thought she could get away with hiring a killer for her husband. If you don't know, um, we were talking about this before the break. Jay and I saw this on an episode of Cops. Ooh, and like then, if you're just joining, if you're just joining us, you don't know, man. People get in the I car. Like at, people get in the car at uh, six forty one. Sure. If you're just joining us right now. Uh, we were watching, we're getting ready to watch a 2020 piece about... That takes her side. About Dahlia. we explained it before the break. 
Dahlia DiPolito. Dip- yeah, Dipolito. see? She's Dahlia in, DiPolito. She's in that fucking Valentin name. You really like can't Gar- say it. Like Garoppolo. Garoppolo. <laughs> Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> and you're new right back. Franklin Ajay. Franklin Ajay. Like you wrote a Franklin Ajay. It's Frank- J. It's J. Ajay J. It's J. It's J. Shanana. It's J. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So we God are. Damn, did you get candy too, Jacob? God, you're making me feel like shit. Chrissy, you, know, you bought the candy. You piece of shit. You know, make me feel you better. You did that totally so you could eat candy. It's Halloween. You needed candy. Oh, is that what happened? Can I just say something real quick? Jacob no told me to get treated. candy. It's all Jacob. Can I just say this right now? I feel like I'm really been piling on Jacob because I had to break the news about the seance, but the decorations are great. <laughs> you did a really good job. Decorations are awesome. Um, I like the whole thing. That's more. I give credit and to I like, Christine for and the And I like that you got a, you got a um, to-scale model of my skull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same top? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is... If it makes you feel all the decorations were half off, because it's cause, Halloween. Oh, smart. So. Imagine how much they are tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is Halloween spooky for women like this who try to murder people? Listen, uh, we're gonna have a fun. We had such a, a fun Halloween show. You're a fun of Halloween, Halloween stuff, of Halloween adventures. I'm trying to navigate the time of this. We had such a fun Halloween show on Tuesday, Dan. Dude, I wish you weren't in a bad mood. Time because you space. weren't in a bad mood. A half hour from now on Tuesday, back on Tuesday, which is a half hour from now when we did the Halloween episode. First off, this candy selection is shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's great. I love it. <laughs> It's a little repeat. Oh, and here's where the real comes well, in. There could be an almond joy bad. in there. I mean, would it kill you for something a little sweet? Maybe something tart? I mean, yeah. I mean, like maybe a gummy something. I mean, it just ah, seems like it's all like... Very much, it seems very Christine's wish list, if oh. I'm being told. Totally I don't even like Whoppers. You don't? Mm-mm. Why? No, but you thought that was your... like. You know, that, that was, was your, that was her like, here, guys, I care about this. Yeah. Show. Well, I know. I, I don't like talk, you guys. We like talked about this on Tuesday. I know we so did. <laughs> um, I'm getting mad all over again <laughs> from a half hour from now, two days ago. <laughs> um, right. Mm-hmm. Kyle, come with me if you want to live. Um, that's not, he doesn't want to say that. Kyle no, Reese said that. But they both said it. Kyle okay. Reese said it in Terminator one. And then Arnold says it in two. Did in he? The, in the mental institution. Oh, well, black loose. Remember, yeah. she's freaking out. And she's like trying to kick away from him, and he's like, "Come with me if you want to live." I'll take a black man's word on any movie. Black Lou says yes. Um, so we're watching this 2020 report about this lady, uh, Dahlia DiPolito, who tried to have her husband murdered. Yeah, didn't work. The person she was talking to was a cop. It all was a scam. They get to her where we're at right now. Is they tell they told her that her husband died. How did she call? react? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is how she reacted. Oh God! Did uh, you leave? Um, your husband's been murdered. He also left the lamp on in the living room. <laughs> oh, it's just an electric bill, oh, lady. Get over on. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the electric prices can be deadly. All right, uh, we're having fun. Oh no, I'm sorry, ma'am. All of your underwear and and bras are part of a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to buy more, I guess. <laughs> And you know me, I'm old school detective. I gotta smell all of them. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go buy a whole new rack of boulder holders. <laughs> <laughs> all those bras are now my North Beach, what is it? Oh, I thought you could see which the cop was. <laughs> so, uh, now they're gonna take her to the station to, you know, talk to her about maybe he has some enemies or something. Yeah. And, uh, I love that that's immediately where the guy went. You got any enemies? You know anybody who would want him dead? Yeah. Like you, perhaps? Uh, <laughs> wink, nudge. All right. You keep yourself a good shot. Boop, ba boop, ba da bop. Ah, you'll, you'll get some sad asshole right and you let us in prison. All right. You're fine. <laughs> now we have the 2020 story, which, uh, you think it takes her side? Is that how you feel? Yeah, dude, it absolutely does. And her speech impediment is hilarious. Oh, yeah. There's no way I would ever want to put this guy in six feet on the ground. Yeah, it's our cops. They say she wanted him dead. They said it's not anything. That they have proof caught on hidden camera hiring a hitman. Nobody's going to be able to point a finger at me. There's like 5,000 percent sure. She's such an idiot. She thinks 5,000 percent is a thing. (laughs) 
She goes, no, it's like five, five hundred and fifty thousand percent. Like a thousand times a hundred percent. Oh, you got it. Well, her name's Dippolito. We, yeah, we're making her Italian. Oh, yeah, we got to make her smidge jersey. <laughs> Listen, bro, I'm five thousand percent sure that he needs to die. Are you telling me my fucking husband's fucking dead? Oh, um, do not disrespect my face. <laughs> This is the first time you have ever talked about this case, correct? How do you explain? First of all, there's no way that's true. Maybe she means publicly. Yeah. It's probably the only thing she's talking yeah. about since the day it's happened. Yeah, there's no... The owner jumps in there, he goes... She's like, and it's like, I fucking, I don't know what to do now. Like, these fucking lawyers, these cops. He's like, did you ever see Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? <laughs> yeah. Just like a conversation yeah. with somebody are you, else. Um, <laughs> are you up to date on The Walking Dead? <laughs> Yeah. Goes, I tried to murder my husband. Goes, Stranger Things season two. Spoiler alert, or you already see it. Are you a big Eleven guy? <laughs> I feel like you're a fan of Eleven. <laughs> Scandal of sex, lies, and videotape. Three words to describe Dalian. Liar, liar, liar. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, oh, that's Mark. the guy, if you're listening right now, that's the guy that you now also want dead. <laughs> yeah, that is her ex-husband, who now we're all going to take a bonfire collection to have him whacked. <laughs> also known as Mark Vecchione. <laughs> Next thing I know, I wake up, boom, ba boom. I'm, yeah. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, find out this bitch trying to have me killed. You know, I'm trying to throw my seed at her. She ain't <laughs> having none of it. I got a good swole on. I got gains today, you know? <laughs> just broke this bitch off last night. You know, and now she's just being crazy, bro. I think she's not trying to have me murdered. You want to have me killed? Like you didn't say that last night when you were sucking on my body, Jacques. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's her with a low jack. She says she's on medication for what is unsurprising, depression and anxiety. <laughs> and that faith is what gets her through. Oh, go to Jesus. Okay, listening to worship music. Ew! Your every move is monitored. She's under house arrest, accused of solicitation to commit murder, tethered to an ankle bracelet. I mean, she's not... They always make it sound so much dramatic. It's just like a watch on your Tethered ankle. to an ankle brace. Beaten regularly. Um, she is... I said this. I, I'm so, I'm even in just in this preview, how garbage this chick is. Yeah. She's a real hunk I mean, of shit. I mean, what a real hunk of shit. Like, because now, like, look, sometimes she, look, people, she definitely tried to have her husband killed. Yeah. She 100% tried to do that. There's no mistake. Make no mistake sometimes. about it. However, however, though, she's like, uh, she would have barked that out from the second it happened. She just, the second it went bad, she's one of the her. she's one of the people that you realize deserves a speech impediment. But yeah, but I'm also freaked out by the fact that man, she goes through her spirituality and religion. I hate that. It's like, but you, it's like how empty inside are you that you can just go? I'll just say I'm religious now. Like, yeah. just, that's all she's she's going on, to on a core level. That's that's. As straightforward as her thinking is, she goes, "Yeah, all right, I'm fucked." You know I'm what that is? She goes, "All right, so I got to go hard with the religion." And so you, Jay, you that's, any the belief. New, that's the new. That's the new. But that's the difference between like sex rehab. Yeah. Like Harvey Weinstein went to rehab. Religion's yeah. in the same. But if you have any belief in religion at all, which I bet this fucking twat thinks she does. Well, now she. If does. you have any belief in religion at all, you couldn't use it as that much of a. I mean, that's that's as evil as. Televangelists who just like rape people yeah. all their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree yeah. with you. Is she like asking for forgiveness for what well, she we'll did? See. Let's <laughs> see. Because here it comes. Because I just want to hear her dumb favorite Christian rock band. They just jam out so hard. They really make put the Lord right in my spirit. I don't know if you've ever heard <laughs> this guy, but these guys, just, <laughs> they just get the Lord on a different level. You know what I'm saying? Super. Anyway, my husband's not dead. He has risen. Stan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Shelly voice. Uh, I love it. Her favorite band, Hillsong. That's a Hillsong guy. All those, uh, the songs are just about uh, people going through struggles. I feel like I'm, it's, you know, casting It's about trying to say essence properly. <laughs> it's, it really speaks to me because it's about essence. Is this, who is this? Hillsong. Yeah, it is. Let's get some hill songs. What's that? It's one of the tabs. Is Jesus? Yes. <laughs> one of the tabs is also Jacob. You're not welcome. The Jesus section. What's it got? What's it got in there? Is he coming to town? Who <laughs> is he? Jesus. And now I want to know. This is how much God loved the world. He gave His only Son. Go down, Christine. He gave His Son so that no one need to be destroyed by believing in Him. 
anyone can have a whole and lasting life. Would you want to hang with the dude who had his son murdered so you'd be okay? Yeah, that's real creepy. <laughs> he goes, he goes, dude, don't worry about it. I'm a kid killed. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, uh, God, God, McNeil, uh, I know he's, he's like, yeah. Hey, Jay, come over here. He goes, I know my son keeps beating you out for center position on the basketball team. He goes, yeah. I could probably handle that for you. Hey, you guys, you need not be destroyed. He goes, hey, I heard you like the, I heard you like the ponies. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I stopped gambling. Heard you got a hundred K in debt. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. What if I told you uh, I could take that all that pain away? <laughs> How'd you do that? I'm gonna have my son killed. I'm mur- I'm murder my only son. I mean, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, but obviously it's probably I could, he's my only begotten. <laughs> got a couple of uh, get my couple of my Hebrews on the phone and uh, work this out. Uh, dude, I love God talking about killing his only son like this while we actually have her favorite Christian rock band behind us. I think we found our new Roman in Sierra. I mean, there's really no way we're going to get through this daylight. They're literally going, it's like a throat slit on his own son. He goes, hey, Dan, welcome to the team. Uh, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he goes, I'm going to kill my son. Do you want to watch me do it? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. I don't want to watch you. He goes, I'm literally sleeping in the other room. I can yeah. do it right now. I'm going to put him right down. How do you want to do it? Nail gun in the head like a cattle? Guess what? All sin? Gone. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm a pretty cool dude. I'm a pretty cool dad. Terrible dad? Cool dude. <laughs> yeah, terrible dad? Great friend's dad. <laughs> I mean, great, great friend of, yeah. Uh, God's a great friend's dad? Yeah. He goes, hey, man, you want to come to my house? Hey, you want to come to my house? He goes, ah, yeah. Is your dad around? Mm-hmm. What's he doing? He goes, God. Hanging out? Yeah, he's here. He goes, yeah. Do you, do you go to the grocery store this week? You guys always have fruit by the foot. <laughs> Do you guys have Pringles? You know I love Pringles. You guys have such good snacks, and your dad's funny. <laughs> My dad's a dick, man. You don't even know. Oh, man. But, I mean, I know I've heard him say he's going to kill you <laughs> to, like, you know, stop all original sin. So I'd look out when you're, like, 33, but I think, like, right now you're good. What's been the hardest part? Not knowing um, when Knowing over. that he's not murdered. <laughs> That's pretty tough, knowing that he's waiting, still alive. <laughs> waiting for my trial, wearing these Invisaligns. Um... Pretty much just having to always wear a bib when I do an interview, so my shirt doesn't look like I was covering a hurricane. <laughs> what do you say to the people saying, you're lying and you are a murderer? I say suffer and suck attack, quite <laughs> I frankly. I say that sometimes sea cells on the seashore <laughs> can some slip away into the serenity. What's a famous, like, what's the Cindy Brady quote, her big famous one? Oh, yeah. Is that Sally sells seashells by the seashore? Sally sells seashells. No one? No one was a Brady Bunch? I look to you. She sells seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Seashells, seashells. Oh, I spoke in just like a fucking Jersey dude right there. Yeah. Blue's like, I know all the Jersey hymns. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Park your car on the highway, you die. Yeah. What? How about this old Jersey hymn? You got three more inches, jerk off, back up. <laughs> like Turn my, into, get out, I'll do it. <laughs> like my sweet grandmother used to say, an old Bayonne chant. <laughs> Move or you die. Move it or lose it, asshole. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> asshole. Get inside, jerk off. <laughs> All right. Um, not being able to leave, watching everybody around me being able to come and go as they want, and I can't, I can't do that. Ah, yeah, it's me interviewing her, I go, yeah, I know, tough, right? You know what those other people didn't do? Try to hire a guy to murder their husband. (laughs) (laughs) This girl goes, I I know, I gotta bring it up again, but I gotta keep bringing it up! (laughs) She cries like that every time I bring it up. (laughs) When this girl, I mean, this girl has all 32 of her teeth on the top, (laughs) and that's why she has a hard time talking. Yeah, she's got shark mouth. I mean, she's like, her fucking teeth, like, (laughs) Like a Cheshire cat on the top, and then she's got like four teeth on the bottom. Like, Hi. <laughs> so, with my restored faith in humanity, she has to live in house arrest and also be chummed every 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't even go to my job as a human bottle opener. <laughs> How am I supposed to pry people out of car accidents? Oh, uh, shit. When someone's stuck in a car accident, I just rip the top of the car off. Her face is 72% top teeth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Her dental bill has got to be astronomical. I don't want her to be in prison just because of the taxation on her dentist bill. The taxpayer's got to pick that up. Her teeth her don't fit in her mouth. The day she met what she thought was her dream man. 
What was your initial impression of Mike DiPolito? Charming. That's a nice looking couple. This guy better have money. This guy better pay me because I'm not getting fucking rolled again. I find it interesting. I find it interesting. Christine said this guy's got uh, there's a good looking couple. I think they're both. I, I bet the guy's in shape for sure, yeah. and the girl's got a good body. And I get like all the thi- but whatever it is. This thing has never been my. I've never been jealous of that guy. I've never been like, I can oh my ex- god, I want that girl. I'm on board with Christine, but I amend it by saying that couple is a 15 foot fake out with bad eyes. Fifteen feet away, you go. Look at these stunners. You get close, you go. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Look at the sense. teeth on her and the lack of eyebrows on Terminator One over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, there you look. Uh, and self-employed marketer, and more than a decade older. But no matter, they had. The guy looks chemistry. like fucking the originals from Prometheus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's an architect. He's an architect. Phillies, Phillies, look at that. A name. Oh, they could certainly be from Philly. Ooh. You know they don't Ooh, I'm cabbage patching. Oh. Dude, I thought they were from Florida. I didn't know they were repping Phillies. They were up in Philadelphia so hard, Jay. Just that picture. Doesn't mean shit. Might just go with her outfit. That could be Mike Vecchione. This could be a story about my roommate. (laughs) And I didn't know that his ex-girlfriend tried to have him murdered. I go, Mike, do you want to tell me why there's a whole 2020 about you? (laughs) <laughs> yes, what, what, dude, in the late 90s, you were a kid. <laughs> he was really, really engaging, and I felt a really strong connection. We seemed to hit it off really quick. What do you think Michael saw in you? My personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> She's, that's what the whole, that's, I mean, also, I don't know if it's been revealed. She is a. I, we escort. said it though. We yeah, said she's it an there. escort. Yeah. So them saying all she this was an is he met. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> she was That's an escort. Men see an escort's she personality. Got, I just felt a really big connection. She, in, was, she was an escort. He met. Uh, he called her over, like she got delivered to his house. Yeah. He paid the fucker, and then he's like, now he's with her. She goes, I think he saw my personality. I think after he slang- I keep my personality <laughs> in my skin. <laughs> once, once he saw me catch his. Jizz out of the air like Shamu does fish at SeaWorld. <laughs> I think he just kind of realized that uh, he could be with a set of teeth like me. <laughs> he goes, uh, I do light carpentry work, so I kind of thought, you know, like, who needs a buzzsaw? I got this fucking thing. <laughs> you just chop out hunks of wood. I, he goes, oh, trust me, yeah, no, uh, fucking Seinfeld teeth over there. <laughs> you know, we seem to hit it off. Tits. The yeah, whole thing, the Alfred E. Newman smile. Even that kiss right there is like he's so into her sexually that he, you're like, dude, your life's about to get wrecked. You know when you, it's like someone about to get T-boned in traffic? You're like, oh, dude, you're kissing on her. Take a picture of that and tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM. Because that is such like, baby, I just want to be with you all day. And you're like, your life is about to get Fucking ruined. She's like, she's like, she's like, smile for the picture. And he's like, mm. he's like baby, right I was here in your ear, baby. Baby, I wish everyone just leave. Look, he's been naked right here. And she's like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have you murder. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, so no, like, can I have you killed? And of course, Mike had a Porsche. Ooh. Seemed to have plenty of money <laughs> of and a nice. Go back. He has condo. wrestling figures in his fucking office. I think it's actually UFC action figures. It might be. What a meathead. Of course he had a Porsche. Those are UFC action they figures. They are UFC action figures. You see, they have the gloves on and all that stuff. What a hilarious... What I like. Oh, by the way, he is from Philly. He has a Phillies uh, trophy there, like a World Series. Oh, thing. yeah. He goes, yeah, these are my guys. They look out for me. Oh, they're fucking Philly junk? That's great. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's keep going. This is getting better and better. Yo, cuz, you fucking chick's going to knock you off. She tried, yeah, she tried calling my cuz. <laughs> Yo, cuz, she tried to call my cuz because he knows a guy who knows a guy. I would say I was naive in that I just never imagined something out as crazy as what happened would happen. You know, you would never see that coming. What, dating a hooker? You yeah. deserve everything you get, Mark Vecchione. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve every goddamn thing you get. I was tight, but not too tight necklace shopping for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Our communication was tough in the beginning because she couldn't understand my expressions due to my lack of eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I go, baby, I'm so happy to see you. I know I look surprised also, and also a bit pensive. <laughs> and also deep in thought. But also, baby, I love you. Pretty much my expressions for the next couple months are going to be sleep and wake. <laughs> yeah. Good luck trying to kill me in my sleep. Nah, not like you would or anything. 
have imagined that the Dipolitos would be a duo on the tip of so many tongues. Dahlia Dipolito. A Dipolito. Dahlia Dipolito. When people hear the name Dahlia Dipolito. I think a lot of people have been on the tip of Dahlia Dipolito's tongue. Yeah, you got some money and you live in the Tampa area. I'm pretty sure she topped you off under a highway. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure she sawed your lawn yeah. once or twice in a Porsche. I think you fucking. You know, I hate the media. God damn, I hate the media. I was trying to turn this into like she was a woman. It was love. Everything is perfect. You're like these are both flawed idiots. Well, they're coming up where they're going to say definitely about her being a prostitute. Thing comes to mind. Everything negative. All the headlines, the person they're describing, it's definitely not me. When Dahlia sat down with us for her first television interview, she wanted to talk about a very different Dahlia. First, she offered my cameraman a 50-50 in the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Then she went around the world with my gaffer. Before I knew it, everyone was on her side. I had lost the sound guy. I made Sarah this thing going to be some sort of a slam piece on me. (laughs) Uh, Win the crowd, then you win your freedom. (laughs) If I may please have about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24 minutes with the jury, please. Please. (laughs) And also a large bottle of water <laughs> and perhaps some throat coat. <laughs> some throat coat tea and maybe a, maybe a bit of a sorbet so I can cleanse my palate between jisms. <laughs> jisms. Uh, and when I will, can I have a spit bucket for my jisms? <laughs> I can't swallow it all. You heard that Rod Stewart story. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to get little Kimmed in the emergency room. <laughs> she goes, just give me an empty Corona bucket like it's a low-level Mexican boxing match. <laughs> I need a cut man. I need a, I need a towel. Listen, I need a drip pan like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you want me sucking all these jurors off. I need the proper amount of equipment and proper time. Oh, shit. The two lovebirds were so happy dating, it was only a small issue that he was, well, married to someone else. I was told that he was going through the divorce proceeding. Would you have had a problem? Had that. <laughs> oh, certainly. <laughs> Not been the case if he just was a married guy who was looking for Absolutely. some fun on the side? Absolutely. Yeah. Mike had a past, but he says so did Dahlia. Mike says Dahlia wasn't just selling real estate. She was selling herself as an escort. Oh! 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 I gotta use a bad word. Whore. 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 So we should, I mean, do we have to come back? I mean, this is gonna be a two lost tape episode. Cause there's gonna be follow up beyond this of where this Dude, fucking only browless, seven... this browless idiot's at now. We're at seven minutes in and these two nincompoops have filled an hour. <laughs> these two poops. <laughs> Needless to say, you know, I, I was married. I made a bad decision. Uh, well, I, I called her an escort, and she came. <laughs> That's right. I even make escorts come. Boom! <laughs> when you ask Mark Vecchione <laughs> what he's doing, they're like, where's your eyebrows? I go, what I lack in eyebrows, I make up for in the boudoir. <laughs> I'll tell you something, ladies. You want to come over as a whore, you're leaving a wife. Oh! <laughs> I got the stromboli that makes women put their left fucking was ring a, fingers out. She was an escort. I made a mistake. But by the time she left, that bitch was paying me. Gabagoo! 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 Hey, Gabagoo! Just, these interviews are a lot of fun. <laughs> so I was married, you know, to a wet blanket, upgraded to a cheetah. Yeah! <laughs> Why drive a two-seater truck when you can have a Porsche? Am I right, buddy? Boom! Bang! Bim! Ah. Back! Bagala! <laughs> My buddies are like, where did you find her? I go, where didn't I find her? Yeah! What? 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 Now, what? as far as a fucking, you know, a pimp, well, he had to go missing. <laughs> he got himself some concrete shoes. I mean, she... But nice shoes. I love that this is, like, fuck 2020, that they're dropping it at seven minutes into the story where they go, also, she actually was a whore. Let's not forget... 
she sold her body. But they tried to sell him and real estate. They they he tried they tried to sell him out first by being like he was married, bad guy. Her a whore with a heart of gold. I'm surprised they both agreed to be a part of this. And they want to be famous. They're they really do. But Mike says he fell for her regardless. And just a few months later, he got divorced. And they wasted no time. Five days later, they were married. Why rush into the marriage? What are you fucking idiot? You deserve all of this. What a sap. Oh, all of it. God damn it, Mark. <laughs> you come from such a good family. Youngstown, Ohio, good people. Mushroom cannery. Yeah, your brother loves you. <laughs> okay, your divorce is final. Let's run to the courthouse and get married. It clearly wasn't well thought out. But from all of you, I had some brief special idea for a family leaving. We did our nuptials. Who is staring in here? Why is it got an orange bandana looking in here? It's fucking Ben. Bad Ben. After the break, we got more, but I, I don't know if we're going to stop by the end of this episode. I don't know. We'll see where we're at. Yeah, maybe. Probably not. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Uh, Ooh. Nothing like a sh- uh, Some murder, yeah. murder ink all day on the bonfire. It's Com- murder. Murder. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. We were talking about a, a favorite woman who, obviously it's the Lost Tapes, so you know this is spliced from three days, but last break, we were, we're the whole show, we're talking about our favorite woman that hired a killer that turned out to be a cop. Probably more shows to come. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a whole volume. I told Lou and Jacob and you, we could probably serial this motherfucker, this story. I get to the bottom of it. Oh, dude, because it, it, it is great. I love getting to the bottom of something that's probably already been gotten to the bottom of. We're just following it in real time that we don't know yet. I mean, this story came out. I couldn't tell you what, what's going on with either of these two people right now. That's no, what I love about it. No You're clue. learning with us. Yeah. We, we don't all, do that kind of show research. No, we all learn together. And we find out that, uh, what's her name? Dahlia DiLepolito? Dahlia, uh, Dahlia. Dahlia. Dahlia DiPolito. Dahlia DiPolito married my roommate, Mike Vecchione. <laughs> Mark tried, Vecchione. Mar- yeah, his brother, Mark Vecchione, and tried to have him murdered, but it was a cop, and Jay and I found out about it, so now we're going through the 2020. And the revelation we just uh, had is that Mark was married, Mark Vecchione was married, and then found, uh, he actually hired uh, Dinuba... As a prostitute. Cuba. <laughs> you get her different names? Yeah, yeah I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> and uh, Shrumbuga. Yeah, and fucking uh, Diabolic uh, was a whore. Diabolic the Polito. Yo, that chick's dia. Yo, I fucked her so good, she loves me, bro. So on cops, favorite. we know they pulled him out. They pulled him out, and then she reacted, Lou, do you have it cued? Yeah. Oh man, because I always lose my shit. I, I, when I go to McDonald's and they tell me that they don't do flurries that day, I react like this. I miss I wouldn't Sir, eat that. We can't give you a McFlurry. <laughs> I miss I wouldn't eat that. I think I saw the guy in the back fart in your salad. I know. I'm sorry. I'll make you another salad immediately. You're gonna kill me. I accidentally turned off the DVR. <laughs> uh, living with you is the worst. I promise you, it'll be on demand. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have Cocoa Krispies at the grocery store. They said Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> There's really no difference. <laughs> There's really no difference. I'll tell you what, though. If I'm in the mood for Cocoa Pebbles yeah. and you show up with Cocoa Krispies, I'm a little less happy. <laughs> Is that unhappy? I'll make Cocoa Krispies work. Yeah. Wait, it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. You're right. Cocoa, cocoa The consistency pebbles. of pebbles may be the greatest thing in the world. If you know this, it's pure cut Colombian cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and then Cocoa Krispies is some stepped on bullshit. Cocoa Krispies is just like, it's a light. It's, Cocoa Krispies it's is just a, dusted in chocolate. You know what it is? Like. It's half step in bullshit. It's, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's half step in bullshit. Cocoa Pebbles or what's up? Um, let's go back to this documentary. This 2020. By day, the newlyweds exchanging love notes. We weren't like uh, a party uh, type or anything. Uh, uh, pause it. <laughs> the happiest? Well, they say this is that they're showing a note. That she wrote to him. At the bonfire, and SXM on Twitter to see you. We'll tweet out the video. She, just for the record, she struggled to make a heart with an arrow. And then also, 
Her arrow is double-ended. Yeah. Uh, there's arrow at both ends, so it's, it really hurts to shoot. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword. Also, I'm not going to lie, I bet completely was a real fucking... That's a ti- that wasn't a time saver. Well, you can see after the M yeah. that she probably had to stop and look it up. Mm-hmm. Because the... Uh, the aggression, well, the aggression. I'm not. I'm no handwriting expert. Well, let's read the, the letter. The aggression in the letters afterwards, uh, the darkness of them. The thing. It, it's. She was going for purpose. Yeah, she goes. She went. Let I've, me. Let me. Let me. Uh, let's. And we have to read it, of course, in her list. Mm-hmm. The happiest <laughs> I've ever been. Completely unreal. My dream guy. Love you now, always, and forever. Dalia, <laughs> Dabaluka, Um I don't like someone. Why, for no reason, is there a, a curse of G? But also, in the middle of everything. The sentence completely unreal. My dream guy. You're like what? This is fragments. Completely unreal. My dream guy. Let's do it exactly how it's written with all the. Uh, okay, okay, ready? Great. Can I do it? Yeah. The happiest I've ever been. <laughs> Completely unreal, my dream guy. <laughs> Love you. Now, always and forever, Dahlia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she goes, Love you now, always, and until the check clears on the killer. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, that's how happy she was at one point. They're exchanging. And then this, the fucking phony 2020 broad uh, journalists that are like, it was, she was happy during the day, but it turns out he had a dark side. He was married. Also, she was a whore. <laughs> yeah. She had to be a prostitute. That's not like a whole thing about uh, that. I mean, why are you guys being weird about it? Yeah. That's such yeah. a double standard. If a guy was a gigolo, you guys would think he was awesome if he tried to have his wife murdered. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, this dude That's right, gets, feminist. This guy, exactly gets, right. this guy gets paid to fuck and he tries to knock off his old ball and chain. <laughs> guy's this guy's badass. Oh, dude, have him driving a Corvette. I'm going to put him on a poster on my wall. This guy knows hot puss. He knows hit men. I mean, how cool is that? This guy, James Bond, and he doesn't have eyebrows, and he's probably the best poker player of all time. Because <laughs> I went to his house the other day, 17 pairs of jeans. That's a lot of jeans. That's, That's lot pretty of cool. <laughs> pretty cool. You know what? This guy lives on top of a mountain of denim. <laughs> he's my king. You think he just wears that same white t-shirt every day? He's got 32 of those t-shirts. Okay. And they all look slightly worn. Like that, and so I liked the homey type of you know, environment. Their nights, Dahlia says, often spent snuggling at home watching reality TV. Shows like Cheaters, Great. Real Housewives of New York. Uh, hey, no, 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 it's not right. You to fight with me now? Did Mike love it? Did you Cheaters love it? Cheaters is my shit. You know, I mean, if you don't like Cheaters, get off your high fucking horse and come back down where all the regular people you are. You gotta get rid of whatever you're holding inside that's making you not watch Cheaters. Whatever holds you back, because you're like, Oh, I've done some bad stuff, or I've been cheated on. Get rid of all that and just watch it as TV. And let me give you the advice that I was given on Rick and Morty, where someone said, start with Pickle Rick, and then go back to the beginning and watch all over again, right? Mm -hmm. With cheaters, start where he gets stabbed in the boat, and then start from the beginning. Yeah. Because when he gets stabbed, everyone's watched it. It's been talked about on podcast ad nauseum. Yeah, it's big. It's big. It's a, it's, it is the moment. It's a who shot JR. See, my thing is, the first host ever was Tommy Grand. And Tommy Grand was, there's just no beating Tommy Grand. He was just, he looked like a guy that you could take, but he was super tall. Yeah. He kind of had like a Brad Garrett thing about him. Yeah. He had like kind of short, curly, short, really curly, tight, curly, like uh, dark hair. He was tall. And he was just the best one ever for me of going like, how do you treat somebody like that? Oh, wait, Someone is so talk? good to you. There he is. Look at him. He looks like he should be running in Unsolved Mysteries. I mean, he looks like Adrian Pazdar. Yeah. <laughs> go to the next picture. He looks so much like Adrian Pazdar. Tommy Grand. Say. He was great. Now, Can I tell you this, though? Mm-hmm. And if I'm being completely honest, I do love cheaters. Yeah. Uh, well, Tom, I was, a, I was a blind date guy. I was a Robert Lodge blind date guy. Raj Lodge. Raj Lodge. Um, I'm sorry. I, I like Robert. blind date too. Our friend Rocco was on blind date. I so was Al Jackson. Date. Yeah, but I, here's the thing: Joey Styles got stabbed. No big deal. It didn't bother me. The new host of Cheaters, who you can see right there, whose name is not as a joke, Clark Gable. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a handoff. Joey Greco got stabbed. Clark Gable Joey is such Stabler. a handoff, Dan. I want to tell you something he does, and I want you to watch this for a second. And we're going to come right back to the Dippolitos. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I told when, you, the Dippolitos is a volume series. When he so comes on. We're cutting through this. When Clark Gable comes on and gives his rap. Yeah. Like an asshole, all hand talking. He's all hand talking. 
And then at the end, he always goes, this is cheaters. And then he starts to weirdly, he falls sideways before he starts walking. Mm. It's the weirdest thing ever. Christine, get to, oh. give, me a, give me a Clark Gable intro. Clark, he is such Clark, a knob. Clark Gable and his fucking drawn-on eyebrows. Dude, he's so serious. Is he the, is he the grandson of... Tommy Grant of, of of Clark Gable, uh, is that possible? Is he related to Clark Gable? I don't think so. He's at the all. third. He's Clark Gable the third. Oh, is he? I mean, that's some fucking shit. That I mean, he's probably in Clark Gable's family. Oh, we could look that up. I just want Christine to show you one of these intros. You could hear him and see how un- unlikable he is. Oh, I bet he's a because he's a rich kid. He's but Clark he's Gable, goes, handsome. He's got his handsome grandfather. Dude, he just goes, "This is cheaters," and then just yeah. saunters. He is. The grandson of actor Clark Gable. Really? See what happens when you're great? Your grandkids turn out to be dick. Oh, I mean, he, this kid, this it's is me. Chet Hayes. Hey, Clark, oh, apparently he was on Curb Your Enthusiasm, and Chet I haven't Hayes? seen it yet. Yeah, Cur- Chet was on Curb. I didn't see it yet. He was. Was he good? He was okay. He, he, uh, they gave him a lot to do. I don't think he, his acting ability could handle how much he had to do. Can I tell you this? I hope the day comes where we surprise the campers with a Chet Hayes appearance on this show. That'd be great. Fuck, that'd be great. Let's get back to shitting on Clark Gable's grandson. Yeah. Uh, wait, do you have a thing, Christine? I can't find an intro with him. Well, let me tell you. Hi, I'm Clark Gable, the original. I'm the OG Clark Gable. If you're disappointed in your grandson, at least he doesn't sh- host a show called Cheaters. It's like, Jesus, I was one of Hollywood's elite. But man, I want you to see him actually do the speeches before the thing. It is, I'd be blown away if the production wasn't laughing at him. Does uh, that make sense? Where they go, cut? No, we, uh, yeah, no, we got it, Clark. <laughs> this guy stinks. No, exactly. The or guy, one of the producers goes, go, could you be a little more pensive with your delivery? <laughs> yeah, no, Clark, uh, can you stop enjoying yourself so much? <laughs> uh, or if someone just walks into the production truck and they go, this guy. Fucking suck. I mean, this guy fucking suck. I can't do a goddamn thing with this fucking dullard. He is extraordinarily, by far, the most unlikable of all those hosts. Which is, which is a tough thing to say because the thing about hosting the show Cheaters is you have to talk shit to the dude that's cheating. That's what most of hosting Cheaters is. You gotta break every code of a, a guy who's gonna keep looking at you during and this happening and looking at you going like, dude, really? As Are a you doing lawyer, this to me, man? As a former lawyer in guy court. I will tell you, it breaks all the rules of guy code. <laughs> I mean, really. But it is, it is the idea of that, where you're just like, you're looking at this dude who's going like, how can you do this? And somebody goes, cause you know fucking hell I could have done it, dude. <laughs> I, got, I don't know, I got the same equipment you do that you apparently ripped off and threw <laughs> yeah. away. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> I work at a fucking footlocker. There's always people like that. He goes, I work at a goddamn footlocker, okay? A new girl started working there. Oh she was boy. Super- yes. Uh... Yeah, you, you. Would you like to see my grandson be an unbearable cunt? We got it. No, put it on. Hi, I'm Claude Gable. I died. Tell and this is my legacy. Oh. For Jennifer Howard, sticking to a routine permeates oh, her life. Oh, my God. I mean, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Diapolitos, we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. This guy is. Holy fuck, what a hand job. This guy is a major I mean, handy. This is <laughs> Black Lou's doing his white guy impression. I mean, and he's it, nailing it. I want you to, dude, when he dips off, Soder, you're going to ask Christina to rewind it 50 times. Can I just tell you right now, this looks like a training video at a job. Yeah. Yeah. You put it on and you're like, hey, can you fill in your eyebrows? You look more like an asshole when you tell yeah. this to people. Can you look like something I doodled on my social studies book when I was bored with your fucking colored in eyebrows? Yeah. Can you wear an expensive suit over a fucking V-neck t-shirt, you twat? Hey, three-pack shirt. Can you throw this fuck in? Oh, oh man. Let's go. This is it, it already enraged me when he goes, this is Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's getting cheated on. Okay, sure. Whatever. They all, you know. Back it up the eight seconds. Oh, God damn it. It already made me mad. I always see him wander in. <laughs> oh. Hand in pocket. For Jennifer Howard, sticking to a routine permeates her life. So now that her boyfriend has developed a few new habits, Jennifer questions the reason why her man needs so much. Dude, guidance. watch. It is such Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do I do with my hands? His hand motions <laughs> are bonkers. Just put them up here. I don't know what to I mean, it's. If you're crazy. home, if you're listening at home, DVR this. If you're listening. <laughs> just go. DVR the cheaters. Find it on. No, it's on, just bond at the bonfire at 6 a.m. No, no, no but I'm saying. Oh, we're going to yeah. put it down on the bonfire, but I'm saying, watch this. He is hateable as a mofo. It's un. 
real how hateable this dude is immediately on the screen. His his RoboCop turn and pivot where he walks in and he goes, yeah. he goes, <laughs> now. Jennifer has been cheated on. She Alive is, or dead, I, you're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's go. I'm talking that. with my hands as if I'm giving my first lecture in front of a class, and I yeah. don't know what to do. Fucking substitute teacher day one. They go, quarter, they go this is, uh, Mr. Gable, do you have your quarterly uh, assignment? I'm here to make he goes, math fun. What if I told you sugar could be used as fuel? <laughs> For my project, I took sugar. Are you are you saying he's a robot guy? Oh, huh? Clark Gable. Mr. Gable, sir? Are you a robot? I don't want to freak out here, but you move like are you a talking robot? about this fucking robot cause that side? You move a lot like a robot. <laughs> Jennifer questions the reason why her man needs so much guy time. Concerned that something devious occurs behind her back, it's so great. Jennifer begs for help Wait in for determining it. the truth. I'm Clark Gable, and this is Cheaters. No. <laughs> you see where it's like the yeah. body starts to fall out a little bit he's first. Doing the, he's just doing the moonwalker. Yeah. Honey, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Honey, honey, are you okay? Honey, <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay, honey? Honey, <laughs> are you okay? Let it tell us. Nothing okay. Oh, dude, I want to see him talking shit to the boyfriend. Because I would fuck Clark Gable up if he's wanted to, but he's in pretty good shape. You're right. I don't know what's under that suit coat. I'm stupid. <laughs> I touch, I push him. I go, oh, you're solid. You got to get to the very first encounter when they come because he's always like, "Why his dick's out? The guy's dick is out. It's gonna be a great thing." Well, oh, there he is. What are you? Do you, do you first off, do you know who my grandfather is? Hey, bud, not cool. Oh, Further. dude, he's fucking her in the truck. Yes, dude. Perfect. How this is amazing. But back up. I'm telling you why to back up. My oh, favorite thing. Dude, I've never seen him fucking catch someone blowing back out. Oh, I have. <laughs> Uh, I love that that dude was. F I didn't. I yeah, he's blasting it. her hard. And, oh. and by the way, and then movie lights show up behind. Him. Oh, dude, yeah, like an alien invasion. Um, he's just slamming her while she's grabbing his two seater cab. But here, if, just to get the good taste, go back to when he's showing her the iPad of mm. their footage. Because that's when you hear him talk. That's when he's super fake, snarky. The fake sympathy he goes. Can you believe a guy would do something like this? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. goes. And then when you were at work, working really hard to make money for a living, oh. he didn't care. His side piece is freaky deaky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're fucking in a truck. But she was garbage getting oh, yeah. fucked in the back of a pickup. Oh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. They fucked a lot. Or, oh, 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 oh back, 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 back up, back up, back up. This guy. You got to get back to where he meets up with her to show her what's going on. This guy just lives right in a, here. This guy just lives in an erotic life. He's like Dennis, Dennis He's like Dennis Reynolds. Mike casually strolls out Mike, uh, and gets into his truck. He really just, the from the top, I know we're going to get in the clip, and we do this all the time. Uh-huh. But let me just tell you, from a second of hearing his voice, I want to put my fucking hand through a wall because he's got white guy voice. He's got hateable white guy voice. Yeah. I listen. Um, I just, the next thing you see here is uh, him uh, misbehaving hey, for dude? a change. Hey, can you not talk to the lady like that? He's disrespecting you. Yeah, he's a guy that uh, he's a guy that gets involved in another couple's fight. Hey, I just, don't like, just I, don't like, like, I don't like watching a man talk to a lady like that in public. Did I tell you that? Hey, man, we've married for fifteen years. Make it the fuck out of my face. I'm dealing with my chick right now. <laughs> okay, but just, you know what? You can actually. Why don't you? Try to treat her and me with a little more respect. I feel <laughs> yeah. where you're coming from. Uh, I told you that. I got, it's maybe you, all around. Just learn how to treat people better. Yeah, uh, in San Diego, I told you about that where I got in a fight with the ex, with the actress, uh, and then that go that dude was like going by, being like fucking women, and I was like, "What's up, dude? What's up, dude?" And he's like, "Nothing. What? Nothing." And she's like, "He was on your side," and I'm like, "Oh fuck!" I just blew my only ally in this fight because the guy goes like, "Yeah, right. They can get you like that." I go, "What the? F What's up? What did you fucking say?" And he's like, nothing. Not, he's like walking across he's the street. Like, I just joined your team. Oh, God. You fucking animal. Christ on the cross, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, so, look at her. Hey, get over here, dub chin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, seriously, where did you... Wait, I want to get his voice right. Hey, I, I forget your name, but you're the kid who grew up from the sandlot. Oh. Um, how does it feel to <laughs> chew? Where do you put the food in? <laughs> how do you know where to put the food in without a chin? So I play this. This is going to be I great. I, I don't understand. So when you see this, this is this normal, Mike, or is this weird... Like, like, this is completely uh, weird. I don't know who this person is. What is he doing? Getting his dick We're going to find out. No, they haven't got Jennifer, it. Jennifer, on this day of our investigation, we are outside of Mike's workplace. Dude, See Mike merge. he can't speak properly. He's he can't awful. speak with the right tone. Where he goes, He's we awful. are outside of Mike's apartment. We are something. We are something. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> we are farmers. Farmers. Dum, 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 dum. I only speak in sentences where I can put all my breath behind each word. We'll certainly find out. 
Jennifer, I hope you're ready for your life to change. Also, you butt, your face bums me out. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a pasty. <laughs> she looks like Mr. Bill, actually. <laughs> She's made of white clay. <laughs> oh, no. And he gets into his truck and leaves. As our detectives follow Mike, he arrives at a shopping center. Where he goes gets, to the back. Where he gets, and parks. He just says, he gets the eyebrows. But also the way he talks, he like, speaks in bro, where he goes, where then he gets his pole smoked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? He, he goes, just, hangs a few ropes right across your lawn. He goes, this bodacious babe is hungry, hungry. <laughs> and you can see this girl is rather insatiable. Goes right for the dongage early on. <laughs> Get a shot up through my nose. <laughs> the conversation light, beach heavy. <laughs> Apparently, your man's not into talking. He's he does all into- this talking with his pink helmet. He does a lot of face fucking. <laughs> she then proceeds to sing a song into his pink microphone. Yeah. Now. This girl is full on skin flute. <laughs> Anyways. I mean, like real Ian Anderson, Jethro Tull shit. I mean, you, she's playing solos. If you didn't bum me out, I'd offer you a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta go. We go behind the industrial building. That's when we see her pull her breasts out. Yeah. So as you can see, what's oh, she is going garbage. On. She turns around, begins to reach down Mike's pants. Okay. And before you know it, she gets onto her knees. Hello. And I shouldn't have to say what she's doing, because it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I love, and he loves really showing it to him. Jennifer, but this is just to get you answers. Listen, Mike receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that. Yes. Tell me. Oh, you know just get my dick this sucked by the tractor factory. Dude, his job right here is to get them f- in- infuriated for a fight, because he goes... Here's a phone call we recorded. Tell me if you remember this one. It's always, it's always going to be like, it's always the girls like, I'm at work. What are you doing? He's like, babe. He goes, I'm going to actually be at work a little bit late myself. I'll but I love you. I love you so like, and she goes, well, cool. I'll wait up for you when watch the movies. Nah, babe. You might as well just go to sleep. I'm going to be pretty tired. When I, it's always that. Yeah. And it's like, I'm pretty tired. And while they're playing the video, like they're playing the audio of that, it's like him like getting like his knob yeah. off, like in a church. Yeah. It's like always like something like, uh, way worse than anything. Yeah. It's like, goes, oh. And what's going to make you even more upset? Is that he gave her your grandmother's wedding? <laughs> yeah, it's like, exactly. Yeah. Goes, the guy what? always says something like that over the top crazy. He goes, what? he then proposed to he you goes, with your ring. Yeah. She goes, that's crazy. I'm wearing my ring. Oh my god. He goes, where'd it go? I took it off me in my sleep. <laughs> Even worse is this is the phone call. Usually my job is to walk into areas where they have caged animals and to run a stick along their bars. But today you are that animal. <laughs> Place. Hello? Hey, babe, what's going on? Oh, not much. Just, just finishing up at the office. It's still work. Wait, wait, pause yeah, it. I'm still, I'm still here. Pause it. This is happening wow. while he's getting his dick sucked. There, wow. He's on the phone in the video. This guy is awesome. All that do is... Oh. Jennifer Howard just getting her boyfriend, uh, I mean, on the phone. Rewind, By the rewind way, it, rewind it. The way they break it down with the audio is they put up the words on the screen, and it couldn't be more. If you just read that paragraph and you go, what's happening in this situation? You go, someone's getting their dick sucked. <laughs> I feel like whoever's talking is getting their dick sucked. Yeah, she, goes, she goes, hey, babe. And he she goes, goes, I oh, miss yeah. you. I, goes, I miss you. And he's like, yeah, I'm good. Like, he's answering <laughs> questions, she's not answering. <laughs> he goes like this. He goes, over to the left. Yeah. He's like, hey, babe. He's like... At the office. <laughs> she goes, what? <laughs> he goes, oh, I love you so much. Yeah, what, no, do you, what do you mean? Do you want me to pick up food on the way home? He goes, I love you. <laughs> uh, I love you too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, what? This is work is bumming me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. work. Oh, Oh, work, work. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, right there. Keep going, keep going. Uh-huh. Oh, this is clear, oh, blood, getting a blowjob noise. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Are you fucking jawing it? Baby? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I don't no. know. Chicken. No. Fine. Yeah. A side of mashed potatoes. Hold on. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. 
Get your hand, get your hand, get your hand. Get your hand. I was getting my dick sucked outside of an industrial park in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm sorry if the chicken got dried out. We were doing that all day Sunday. We were doing the heat Al Pacino from the thing. Sorry if the chicken got dried out. I got a hooker. Yeah. 16 years old in a dumpster. Yeah. I got a mom crying over my shoulder for three hours. Sorry if the chicken got dried out. There's a baby <laughs> in a microwave, and I got to tell the mother what happened. Sorry if the <laughs> chicken got dried out. Uh, I'm getting the jaw slobber from this pig back behind the thing. Sorry if the chicken got dried out. I'm fucking my side piece in the back of my Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> I got it coming all over my shaft. I'm sorry if the chicken got <laughs> dried out. She's creaming hard. I'm going to put that back in. It's going to leave marks all over my black underwear. I got to figure out where to hide these underwear for the laundry. Sorry if the chicken got dried out. <laughs> the fucking Clark Gable just fucking rallying her up. Yeah. He goes yeah. from that. Tell me if you. He goes, also, he does this voice that I do. This is legitimately his voice. Ready? Are you guys ready? Because I think I have the perfect Clark game. Ready? Go. You remember this. Hello? Hey, babe, what's going on? Oh, oh not much. Just, just finishing up at the office. It's still at work? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm putting this one back together. Oh, God. Oh, well, you just got out of breath. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got up from my desk. I had to walk around a little bit. Can't sit down all day. Oh. So, obviously, I mean, dude, I, that is, how do you stay with a guy like that? You're like, oh, you're clearly getting your dick sucked when I called you and you just don't want me to hang out. <sighs> oh, yeah, I miss yeah. you too. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Oh. I, dude, the fact that he just goes, I gotta go. Where she's like, well, when am I gonna see you? He's like, oh, did, oh hold on. I'm about to pop. I gotta call you back. Yeah. Oh, God, let me come in this girl's mouth and I'll call you right back. <laughs> Fuck, did I just say that out loud? Wouldn't you argue the only reason why he would pick up the phone while he's getting his dick sucked is because, like, it turns him on a little bit to talk to his Probably. girlfriend when yeah, he's getting his dick sucked? Absolutely. Oh. Otherwise, you just, like, call back, right? Yeah. Karen, my name's Jennifer. Jennifer, whatever! <laughs> oh, whatever, why are you being such a bummer right now? I'm getting my dick sucked. You're oh, your this. face is bummer. Yeah, you're not even with me. <laughs> oh, you want to know how I know you suck? Because you can ruin a blowjob from another girl. She's like, what? Nothing. Ah, God, I'm angry. I don't think, I don't think I have have the capacity of guilt or conscience to do an act while talking on the phone. Somebody. That is crazy. That I, is that is I, flagrantly. I, I, I feel like at my at my scumbaggies, I'd be like, stop for a second. Yeah. <laughs> like, I gotta go around the corner. Or yeah, something. Let me, like, something. Let me go wipe off in the bathroom and make a call. Uh, something. It's just not like. Hello? You! Oh, I am hungry. I'll do a bite later. He goes, oh, you're at your mom's? Yeah, you're at your mom's? Tell her I said hi. Oh, <laughs> yes. Tell her I said hi. Oh, tell her your said sister. Hi. I forgot your sister just got cancer. Hi. Oh, yeah. I forgot your sister just got cancer. I keep oh. forgetting about that. Oh, she was oh. so hot before the cancer. Oh, oh. Did, you pick your, did you pick your nephew up from the burn ward? <laughs> oh, did you pick your nephew up from the burn ward? Yeah, oh, you what? burn it. Oh, tonight you're, you're doing, burn it? Oh, tonight you're doing your yeah. habitats for humanity. Oh, okay, okay, oh. so I'll have the place to myself oh. for a while. Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to start the show when you get back from putting your dog down. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'm going to be late, too. I'm bringing kittens to prisoners. Oh, oh. No. No. oh. pile driver. Pile driver, you dirty bitch. <laughs> dirty bitch. Yeah, no. We're oh, she's taking a thumb in her butt. She's uh, not even turning uh, around. She's yeah. taking a thumb. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they said your mom's wheelchair is not going to be ready till Friday? <laughs> yeah, hold on. You fucking slut. <laughs> Ah, pui! Ah, pui! Oh, you're an animal! Oh my God! So your sister? What are they saying? They catching her early enough? What stage are we in? Ah, oh, you're a piece of shit! You've been a piece of shit. What? No! Oh, I gotta get a zookeeper in here. Cause you're a fucking <laughs> Somebody get me an owling glove. Oh, ah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> oh Christ, we're rolling down a hill now. Yeah.
Yeah. Why? Well, I don't even know how uh, somehow it's blurred the lines between fucking and fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Your Uncle Jerry's house burned oh. down. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. They lost your brother overseas in a firefight? Ah! He was a true American hero. Ah! Ah! Well, you know, voluntary army knew what he was getting into. Yo! I'm literally Yo! I'm coming out of my butt. How is that possible? How is that possible? I'm coming so hard. It's just like a breach dam. Alright, let's go back to Clark. Uh, Clark my Clark Gable. She puts her female extremities away. Oh, fuck you! It still caresses her. She, she, puts, she puts away her clam bang. <laughs> she puts away her. She decides to rewrap the sweater meat she and then goes back. She takes her clitoris door side. <laughs> he's, trying too, he's trying to be too medicinal. She takes, she takes her, her labia menoris tucked behind her labia menoris, tightly tucked away into a pair of thong panties. She takes her clitoris majoris. <laughs> <laughs> he buttons up his pants into her dungaree short her pants building and they both go their separate ways later I wanna da- by the way Jennifer's face I want to date her just to cheat on her <laughs> go back Christine she, she does this face the whole time she's like huh? <laughs> yeah. can you please take a picture of that for, yeah, hit play where her face He's like, yeah, do the fuck. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> do that. Oh, God. Get yogurt. Yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. Her faces are great. Up his pants. She puts her right female here. extremities away. You know what her face looks like? the mom. She looks like the mom from Boogie Nights. <laughs> I need You're never going to do anything. I need some Chibani yogurts for my right work there, lunches. Right Take that picture. <laughs> I mean, she looks exactly like the mom from she Boogie Nights. She could be the suck the fuck up, Julianne Moore. Yeah, no, 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 the one that's like you're stupid. You're not going to do anything. Those are my oh, yeah, posters. Yeah, yeah. Where were you with that whore Cheryl last night? That little slut. Yeah, <laughs> she's, not, she's a nice girl. You stop it, Ma. I can do things. Are you mad? <laughs> 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 Are you busy? Because if you're not, this should w- look at that picture. I mean, her face is so unsettling. She looks like she's wearing Halloween contact lenses. Are, Are you, you wearing a mask of your face you, over your face? Are you aware that you look like the sister of Chucky? Can you not look directly at me, please? please. <laughs> Eyes on the iPad. There you go. Please look down at the footage of your of your boyfriend getting his dome piece, <laughs> getting some fucking neck. Can you uh? Can you look at your boyfriend with, with this chicken head ass bitch? He's getting the slop down. Anyway, stop looking at me. He probably. She goes, yeah, she goes. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm not going to be your revenge piece. <laughs> yeah, I, we made you sign paperwork that says you won't throw it at me. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. The answer is no. I will not have sex with you as an act of revenge. And trust me, there have been a couple episodes where I wanted. To. He goes, with you, we're safe. Hey, <laughs> you. Easy call. He goes, I don't want to bang a burning bush. <laughs> oh, her faces are great. Let's go ahead and get in the vans. We'll give our lead detective on the case a call. Okay. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right this goes, way, please. Your name's Clark Gable, right? Do you know how to read? He's like, I do know how to read. I don't know how to read properly. <laughs> Sounds like me with a fucking live read. What's going on, Detective? How are you? Uh, you know, I'm pretty good, guy. You know, what can I say? I got a couple of fucking cases in the red, you know, trying to put them in the black. But uh, uh, boy, on my inner thigh that is doing something. How are you doing, huh? Way. You still provoking uh, men for <laughs> being men? You fucking turd. You know, my father loved your grandfather's movies. Uh, just, I go by his grave every Sunday. He was also on the force. The only years. reason I greeted his job. God rest his soul. My father was my hero. You know who was his hero was? It was your grandfather. <laughs> and if I, if my father was alive today to see what Clark Gable's grandson was, <laughs> I'd put a bullet in his own goddamn head. <laughs> I'd do that as his son. I'd Marvin Gaye him. <laughs> Actually, Marvin Gaye's dad. So, him. I got it. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, what's up, bro? You get your dick sucked? Yeah, no, she's right here. <laughs> no, she's like sitting legit, like literally right next to me. Lights on, lights on, go, stealth mode now. Go, go, go. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, dude. Oh, dude. 
Did he have a hat on? Get in there. Yeah. What the? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. There it goes. Shit's popping. What the is this? What the? What the? Dogs. 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 I need eyes on him. I need eyes on his piece. He's like, let me fluff up before you guys take pictures. Oh, what are you guys doing? I'm scared. It's getting tiny. <laughs> let me... Didn't matter. What the... F all these people everywhere. Yes, this, the is, f what this is hot. This is hot. He just starts coming. But you're going to get to hear Clark Gable now when he starts doing what he does. Oh, yeah. Just, Why yeah. would you do that? Are you... Mike, what the f is going on? Oh, this my is God. A you. You shut your whore mouth right now. Coming up, the conclusion. Um, it's right here. It'll be right here. Coming up, <laughs> do we get a replacement for Clark Gable? Are you woke? Good news is uh, Bing Crosby the fourth is available for the next season. <laughs> <laughs> Perry Como the fifth. <laughs> just keep going deeper into the fucking. Uh, guys, we got Frank Sinatra the sixth. Mike, who is this? Oh, my God. Girlfriend, bitch, who the hell are you? What is it? Are you kidding me? Right oh, my now? God. Go, go, go yourself, dude. That is it like doesn't even matter. Look, 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 look. Why look, doesn't it matter? Look, I think look, they're all still naked. It's great. Yeah. What are you me? You won't do anything. What the f am I supposed I to do? Yeah, there it is. There it is. I'll tell you this. He definitely found a girl that'll do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he went from a little because to a lot. Because this girl is night and day from you. He goes, she opens her holes for me. I'll say it, Jennifer. She opens her. You always look at my dick like it's upsetting you. It'd be funny if during this whole thing when he's, he's like, like Chris guys, can we have a, uh, a calm resolution? He's like, all right, fine. He goes, look. I cheat on you. I'm very sorry. And then that girl just comes over and starts sucking his dick. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He goes, oh, so oh I'm sorry. He just goes, just goes right for it. He just goes right for it. He goes, I'm not going to cheat on her. This girl's just pretty. Oh, hard. hey, Jawbone. You oh, back? You God. back for seconds? Oh, baby need, baby need milk? Baby need some milk? <laughs> baby want to get on the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby need a little milk. Oh. Sorry, give me one second, Jen. Oh, oh baby need a little milk right here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this oh baby gets, oh, baby needs the milk right for the kids. Cow, huh? <laughs> Big must have right from the cow. Move. Jen, anyway, listen, look, I know I made some bad decisions over the past couple of months. I've been, oh, God. Oh, oh God, man, she gets it all the way down there, huh? With she cameras. gets it all the way in there. We're with cameras here, you <laughs> dirty, dirty dog. Right. Is she fingering her own butt? Oh, God, this one's a keeper. Mean? This one's a keeper. God. This is like going from a standard to an automatic. <laughs> Big, you won't even go to the sex shop. What the am I supposed to do? We do it the same way every night if we even do it at all like three or four times a month oh my god this guy is single-handedly winning me over this guy, i am i've gone completely against jennifer and clark gable i'm on the other side i flipped three, three four times a month that's they're young for that man yeah that's young what are you doing bitch what the oh oh my god who the hell is she what does it what even matter what does it even matter her name's Vanessa. She is awesome. She, she loves. She loves botany. She's a long distance runner. I find that interesting. She pushes herself to her limit. She's got goals and plans, man. I love and her, she'll man. suck me off anywhere, dude. She gets shin splints on the reg, and she still fucks. She walks like a baby deer sometimes, and she'll still fuck me after a marathon. Do you know what that's like? You're a ginger. It's weird. Um, see if you can get real quick. I want to see if we can get a little of Clark Gable talking to the guy. Uh, seriously, bro. Like, do you think you can swing a threesome or? <laughs> What's up? Oh, yeah, here you go. Here you go. Back up. Back up. I hate him. I hate him. Of course you do. I like this guy. I'm working on. I actually am working. Oh my god. Service me. I squeezed it. Oh my god. No. Oh, no. 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 This is bull. If you would do anything else and not missionary, then it wouldn't be a big deal. I wouldn't. Be back here, find a building, but I think it was 30 cameras in my face. Mike, Hello. Mike, Mike, what happened? Obviously something happened. I know for this freak. What happened is she just, she's, she's just a prude. She can't do anything. Are you kidding me? What are you still doing here? He has a girlfriend. You're such a slut. She's, you're a let me tell you this. She's got an awesome body. Blurred face, awesome body. Yeah. 
Ginger, yeah. beat it, you fucking rank. <laughs> yeah. You're ruining the fun. <laughs> fucking stop screaming like a maniac. Let's get down to business. Who's this blonde? That other girl's going to suck him off. She, she's going to finish him off. Oh, God damn right. <laughs> she's going to text him when she goes, do the cameras leave? I'm around the corner. <laughs> yeah, cameras going, I'm at Denny's. Dude, she's got a new... I'll treat. She's got <laughs> she goes, get over here, I'll she's treat. She's got a giant iguana on her back or something? I love that shit. Oh, fuck just it. Just leave, bitch. Just... Don't leave. Please. He goes like this. Oh, he's talking to Clark Gable. He goes like this. He goes, so he goes, no, I don't know. No, no, don't leave. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave. That's like, he goes, no, I don't know. She's such a pro. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't know. Because your goofy Cause you're face. Nothing but missionary. I don't know. Nothing but missionary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Julie, 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 Julie. Don't go. Don't go. Sit in your car. Sit in your car. I don't know. It's just your podcast. It's your big, dumb, white, blue, veiny face <laughs> that makes everybody around me get that. Drier than the desert. It you hurts to fuck you. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Do you have um? Can you can you stick hey. around like seven, 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 ten minutes tops? Can you I, give me seven, ten minutes? Cameraman, 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 grab her, grab her, <laughs> grab her. <laughs> Yo, get her. Tell her I'm sorry. Seriously, I can explain everything. No, just tell. Hold no, on. Jen. No, I don't know. <laughs> it seemed like something happened. Did something happen? No, Are she likes only likes missionary. Hey, Clark what Gables, did she say? Clark Gable's, uh, Clark Gable's asking questions like an alien who's pretending to be human. He goes, <laughs> What happened? Y'all, you are mad at each other. Yes. I don't understand your love. She goes, my feelings are really hurt. He goes, feelings, pain? <laughs> pain and feelings? I don't understand. <laughs> but feelings are pain. But by, pain by, is happy? By episode 30, Clark, you has one tear coming. He goes, he goes <gasps> Clark, your feelings. Like, is, I don't like pain in yeah. feelings. I am... Aware. <laughs> I, I am Clark. I have become you. Aware. Our friend. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what? now what? you're gonna talk to me, Mike? Are you kidding me? If you would just maybe just like. Hey, guys, I don't know. Maybe we can rush this away so I can finish my nut. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, now you want to talk, Mike? Now he goes, well, yeah, she fucking left. <laughs> uh, yeah, you scared away the hot box. <laughs> yeah, I talk, I guess. I don't know. This night's this I don't know, maybe you and encounters of the third kind who scared away my truck ass. <laughs> No, I mean, because I was just I was just off roading broad dog five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, and you bring fucking SWAT out to yeah. fucking find me. <laughs> he goes fucking small wonder over here can't even ask a question properly. Who taught you how to do this, Clark? And he goes, I am Clark. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm over here ball boxing this chick Sniz, Dude, and yeah. you guys pull up with a bunch of flashlights. He's like, yeah, I feel like bright lights on you. Yeah, is that a bright light? Is that all? Oh, like, God, that is a bright light. She's like, he's like, oh, it's bright light. She's like, don't stop. He's like, I won't. He goes, I won't. He goes, God, you really do need it. <laughs> it'd be funny if, it'd be funny if he'd never stopped fucking the whole argument. The whole thing is like, it's like just cause you don't do anything. Oh God. Oh, she clamps down on it, guys. Have anybody on the, any guys in the crew ever have a girl who can clamp on it? It's the weirdest. It's like a, oh, it's the oh, weirdest. It's like, you know how octopuses have the things on their arms? It's like that. I don't know why you can't I guess you need a soul to clamp down on it, Chucky. Yeah. Beat it. God damn it, we have to fucking end the show. I know. Because we have to start our other show. Can we just start the, the live show? I mean, it with, makes no context. With, with this immediately and just talk about it nonstop. No context. But guess what? Lost Tapes next week? More Clark Gable? More Diana Diapolito? Dia Dia Dalia DiPolito. Oh, no, it's not. I'm gone next week. We have to take a week off. We have, I know, take, I'm we, have sorry. Take, we have to take a week off for all these things. I'm sorry. Oh, no. My grandma's turning 90. Oh, no. I'm sorry. But most importantly, Big J is going to be recording his album this Thursday, next Thursday. It's a week from tonight at the Village Underground. Go to nycomedyfestival.com for tickets. All crowd work uh, record. I called it a record like a fucking moron. Like so all crowd work like album for Comedy Central Records. Next Thursday, November 9th at the Village Underground. Go get tickets. Yeah, we want to fill that up. For, yeah, please, sell it please, out. please, 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 let's get that thing sold it's out. It's going to be great. Uh, the more people, the more fun that is. Dan Soder, of course, is going to be at Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas, Thursday, November 30th through Saturday, December 2nd. A lot of campers down there. I know that for a fact. Um, what a great club, too. Go see Dan there. Again, November 30th 
through Saturday, December 2nd. Get your tickets for that and all Dan shows at DanSoder.com. Make sure you follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We love y'all. We love Catch y'all. Catch you next week. Bye. You're going to miss Dan so much. I'm going to miss you guys, bro. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm going to be right back. Yeah.